Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Country Lawn. In my very first video, I uh, one of the on my tour video, I mentioned this little black thing sticking in my lawn. It is a rodent bait station uh, for uh, controlling voles, or in other words, uh, field mice. In this little area right here, I uh, discovered a lot of trails last year. A lot of trails, uh, and, the ro and the lawn was very rough. And I think it had gotten that way over years and years and years. And I, I, I put some fill in it with some soil and peat moss. And the following spring, I noticed trails right through it. And it... Uh, it's always been rough right in here, been, uh, so with the lawnmower it would get a little uneven, and sometimes scalp, but depending on which way I hit it with the lawnmower. So I thought I'd give this a try, and the fact is, you probably, I don't know if you can see it in the snow, but I just, uh, I just came down here, I noticed it. You can see the trail going through the snow right there. And I'm sure that's a vole trail, field mouse. And so what these are, it's basically like an upside down T. Uh, and there's a hook inside the, co the cover that hangs down and it, almost like a squared off kind of J shape to it. And what you do is you put the bait on the hook end and you can get about three uh, bait chunks on it. So it's basically self-feeding. They can go in on either side, and this would work for rats too. They can go in on either side and eat, and as they eat more and more, it's like basically like self-feeding. The chunks just come down as they eat. So I thought I'd give it a try and see if I can get it under control, because. I'm going to try and level this off again this spring and get it uh, smoothed out again. So that is the one I have here. And it's basically right by our septic berm, little berm area here where our septic system is. The other one is up a little further here by the house. And that's been an issue too over the last few years. Uh, there at one time was a tree of some sort there uh, before we moved here. And as the, as the roots and stump down on the ground has rotted away, it's kind of sunk down in. And I think it's made a perfect home for voles field mice over the uh, over the winter and same thing here I try to level this off and make it smooth and the following year this year uh, or the uh, spring of 21 it was just all trails again so I thought I'd give these a try and see if we can get the get the field mice under control one of the things about living out in the country here is that once those fields are harvested and we get snow, the, uh, the field mice are looking for uh, other, other areas to go. And uh, I think this is what, what they've done for the last who knows how many years. They've probably got a, quite a system of tunnels underneath the ground here. So I'm gonna try, see if I can get those under control. And so I thought I'd do a quick video about that. I do have another one uh, up at the garage. Anyway, before I forget, I'll show you. So these can be mounted anywhere. There's hooks on top, or little loops on top, and on the bottom here. And right level with the ground, there's a couple other loops that you can uh, use to plant uh, 
like stakes of some sort into to hold it down into the ground like I've done. I basically use like seven, seven or eight inch long solid, uh, like a tent stake. It fits in there real good, no problem. But all those loops on there, these can be put anywhere with zip ties. Uh, you got tree, like tree rats or something, wherever rats go. You know, these these bait stations can be can be put anywhere. They're pretty uh, pretty um, easy to do it that way. No matter where where you got an issue, you can kind of strap them to it and get the, and try and get the rats or voles under control. I have one more. And I bought three of them. I don't remember exactly which website I bought them from. The company that makes them is called JT Eaton. And uh, they're easily found online. And the company I bought them from, there's one here by the garage. You got a little bit of a discount for buying uh, a little bit, you know, I bought three, get a little bit cheaper that way. I put one here by the garage because we do get mice in the garage over the winter. And this is our, can't see it, but this area here is a hosta bed. And even when you clean it up as best you can in the fall, there's always some uh, some field mice. You know, you, you see their, their trails through here every every spring. In fact, you can kind of see it now. Uh, there's like old railroad ties that go around this hosta bed that they were here when we moved here. So it's like perfect for them to burrow under and uh, stay out of the weather for the winter time. So. so that's what those are. And I have, I checked them, today is February, uh, February 1st. And I checked them back in December on one of the warm days we had in December and to see if they uh, have been touched and they had some they had some nibbles on them so they are they are being uh, used they are going in and checking them out and trying to poison out a little bit so hopefully it will be a success for uh, for this year when I open them up again they have a little like a little screw on top um, a little silver screw and it just takes an Allen wrench to open them up, and the, the cap kind of locks into place uh, as a safety precaution, I suppose, so nobody, no children or, you know, whatever could get into it. It keeps it pretty much uh, locked solid. Nothing can get in there. So, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully I'll get another video up soon. Thanks for watching.